Hey guys, happy Monday. I know I said it was gonna jump on and share with you guys my May 1st weight and measurement. But you guys, I just realized it's May. And you know what that means? On May 6th will be my two year anniversary of starting this journey. So I'm like, hey, I think I'm gonna wait and do the video on May 6th to celebrate my two year anniversary. And um, I don't know if I'll weigh in again. I may weigh in and measure again. It's only a few days difference. I don't really get on the scale only on the first. Ted takes the scale away. I may have Ted bring it back in and we'll redo a um, weight and measurement. I'll share both of them with you guys. But I want, I just want the official weight and measurement for the six, if that makes sense. So my video will be a little more delayed, which is fine, which is fine. So I'm um, sorry I'm doing a video in the car again. Life's been a little bit hectic and crazy, but yeah. Um, this is all I can do, this video in a car. Um, I did complete the jump rope challenge for May, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about doing a little compilation video showing me getting through that. That was kind of tough. Um, Changing Chris over at Changing Chris channel is the one who like did the challenge originally back in February and I was going to do it with her and then um, I was training for the 4x4x48 and I was having feet issues so I kind of bowed out and said I'd do it later and then Snake and with Sarah, my girlfriend, Snake and with Sarah channel um, did the May um, jump rope challenge with me to make up for her. Um, me bowing out of changing Chris's. So we got it done, changing Chris. Yeah, yeah. Um, today I actually don't have to take care of my daughter and grandson because my son in law's home, their store is closed on Mondays. So I've been really busy um, trying to catch up on some stuff. I got my workout in, thank goodness. Normally Mondays are rest days, but I was so tuckered out yesterday, I did not get my workout in. But, anyways, um, I did my workout. I got my um, training plan for the Spartan races. So I'll do a whole nother video on that and show you um, um, what I'm planning on doing to train for it. It's, it's, it's less than five weeks away, I think, you guys. Man, I need to get serious about this. So yeah, um, you know, I know I'm not gonna get through all the obstacles, I know that. So that's why I'm doing these whole burpee um, slash runs <laughs> twice a week is because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of burpee, burpees. So, but this first race, because we're doing the trifecta, we're doing the sprint and then the, oh, I forget what the second one's called and then the beast. But, um, um, the first one is probably going to, I'm going to, I'm going to train hard and try to get as many obstacles as possible. But I mean, I'm going to use this first race as my baseline to see where I need improvement, where I can work hard on before we hit that second race. So yeah, so I'm getting excited about that, but I did get my whole training plan worked out. I'm actually heading right now to Home Depot to pick up some concrete because I've got the molds for the Atlas bowls. So I want to make a couple of those. Um, I've got two sizes. I want to work my way up to the big one that we need to carry. So, and then I've got some other um, training ideas and plans. So I can't wait to make a whole video about that, show you how horrible I am currently on obstacles. And then hopefully, you know, by the end of the year when we do that beast in November, I'm going to be a different person on handling those obstacles. So we'll, I'll take you along with that. But I just mainly wanted to jump on, tell you guys that my weigh-in will be on the 6th, my two-year anniversary of starting this weight loss journey. Um, yeah, kind of excited about that. But that is all that's going on with me. Um, I have, still haven't been sleeping very well, but um, the night before last, you guys, I slept for five hours straight. Yes. I felt so good about it. Like it felt, I felt good um, and energized yesterday, but by the end of the day, I was pretty tired. Last night, I didn't sleep so well, but I'm seeing some glimpses of um, a little bit like harder sleeping when I do sleep, so that's good. Maybe I'm coming around. Maybe it's gonna improve um, as far as my change of life. So yeah, that's what's going on with me. New text message from Kayla Lippert. Oh 
what my daughter texted me two new text and it looks like my girlfriend Sharon I need to four new text yeah. <laughs> sorry I got we I got my new text oh my messages. goodness my car is talking to me too much new text messages yeah all right so anyways you guys I will let you go so um I can call my daughter see what she needs and then um get a hold of my girlfriend Sharon all right have a super great week um thanks for the prayers as far as my insomnia um i think that they are working god is intervening because when i do rest i feel rested so that's good because before you guys i never could function on less than six hours of sleep i was hurting so like to feel rejuvenated when i get a few hours that's good and like i said i think i'm i'm turning the corner of this menopause thing and hopefully it starts improving a little bit but I really don't want it to affect my training I I feel like the last couple of weeks I just haven't been um, feeling a hundred percent in my workouts but today I did full body strength training and I felt really strong so I feel good about that but anyways I will let you guys go <laughs>